everyone welcome to the channel my name is Victoria I'm here to give you a tarot card reading today today's tarot card reading is going to be called what will happen with your connections okay please bear in mind that all my readings on the channel are general so while I try to pick up as much energy as I can and spirit messages that come through the decks today um, not all the messages are going to be for absolutely everyone. Today's reading may be triggering as well because we are talking about what's, what may be in your connections or what will happen in your connections. And of course, we're talking about people's emotions within tarot card readings and uh, nothing is ever set in stone okay so it doesn't mean that this is the actual you know everything is going to happen like this because people are free to choose to change their mind and tarot always works on the basis of free will okay so you make your own mind up in life like you normally do you just use the tarot as a guide so i need to say that first before we do this reading today because i do, really don't know what's coming out of these decks so today's decks are going to be the Tarot Familiars, the Lightseer's Tarot and the Vintage Raider Weight. So this will be Pile 1, Pile 2 and Pile 3 for today's reading. What I ask you to do is choose your pile of cards from your intuition. If you have a picture of your person handy around, that's really good as well. You can surround your person if you have in some light or if you haven't got a picture, just close your eyes and picture them there. Surround them a little bit of energy and then pick your pile of cards for today's reading. If you are attracted to more than one pile or if you just want to see all three or want to hear the messages for all three, you're very welcome to do that also stick around each of the piles i do i'll be doing the oracle cards at the end there'll be extra messages for you there from spirit in the universe okay i will give you a few quiet moments now to choose either reading one two or three for today's what's going to happen within this connection Hello there, welcome back to your reading, those who chose reading number one for what's going to happen within this connection. Um, okay, please try to stay to the end of your reading because we'll be having extra messages from the Oracle cards at the end. Please bear in mind all the readings on the channel are general tarot card readings. So not all the messages today are going to be for you. If you're attracted to more than one pile of cards, you know, give that one a listen as well. There may be messages for you there as well. So what's going to happen within this connection? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Empress. We have the Seven of Cups. Oh, we have two cards that came out here, so I have to read them both. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. As soon as I saw the Eight of Swords and then the Empress, and then it was confirmed by the Seven of Cups, I can I can see here that your person is definitely not giving you exactly what you want. Um, you're feeling quite trapped. With the Eight of Swords, um, there has been restrictions put on your connection as well. Um, some of you, um, those restrictions may be self-imposed. It's It might be that your person is not ready to commit to anything. Um, I feel like you are. They are very much interested in you. But if you're looking for your person to commit to something right now, perhaps they're not ready. We do have a seven of cups smack directly in the middle of this spread, which is telling me they may have commitment issues or there's too much going on in their life. Now, for some of you, there may be jealousy involved in your connections. The king of pentacles is reversed. Sometimes when the king of pentacles is reversed, they can be a jealous person. Um, or there may just be jealousy, a jealous streak running throughout your connection. I can feel here that your person does um, does love you. They, and I think you love them as well. But if you're tr trying to get them to commit to something more than what's going on at the minute, they're not ready. That's what I can feel. We do have a ten of pentacles here, which is telling me it doesn't mean they will never commit. 
because it is there it's like they're not ready at the minute okay um the king of pentacles is a leader and they're very um they're very solid yeah so in the right way up but when you've got the king of pentacles in the reverse it's like they're not that ready to do anything that possibly you're ready i feel really strongly that you're ready to take a leap forward in this connection but if they're not in board if they're not doing the same as you um if they're not ready like you i was going to put a strain on your relationship um I felt really strongly a little wave of um, you wondering if they are completely committed to you. They are. I think that I feel really strong. This is more about themselves. They might be frightened to do that just yet. I feel like they will commit more to you eventually, but they may need some time. But I can really feel strongly. And with the spread, it's like, so I, I get the I feel like you're questioning everything. It's like, well, well, where do I go? What do I do? Where do I go from here? Because the eight of pen, sorry, the eight of swords next to the empress is kind of telling me you feel quite stuck. Um, I think you, I feel like your person has put restrictions on your relationship, but how far, how far, and how fast it's going to go for them. The ten of pentacles is telling me here that there will be a commitment of some sort, but I think it's going to take some time. Your person just might not be ready. Um, they might be frightened to commit more to you, but I think you want more from them. Um, Ten of Pentacles is telling me that there is this could be a, a relationship where your person wants to build slowly. Um, Pentacles energy is always slowest in the tarot. So it's like they want to build the connection for good rather than rushing into something and then maybe... Um, I'm not going to say, I was going to say spoiling it, but I don't think they'll spoil it. It's more like they want to build on it. It's more like they're putting those building blocks in place because they're seeing um, a future. They're seeing a something long term, not just something just for now. Yeah, that's what I can feel here. Let's get some of these oracles out for you as well. So I feel like there is sort of self, I think, I feel like you want to take that leap forward. Um, you want more commitment for your person. Your person's like, mm, you know, might be holding back just that little bit more than you. I feel like they're really invested in you with the Empress coming out. But the commitment side of it is, it's like not just yet. But I think they will, I feel they will. One's just flown out here. There you go engagement rings just flown out of this deck this is the island time wellness deck engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union i do feel like your person wants to commit they're just putting those building blocks in place let's have another one shall we there's not i don't feel fear i don't feel fear um and committing i don't I, I feel more that they want to put building blocks in place to make sure it's it's for good or to last. OK, so there might be a bit of heartbreak here. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. There could be. Do you know what I'm picking up from this card more? I, I kind of feel your energy more. I think the heartbreak, I don't, I don't feel like this card is coming from your person. It's more about you. Why am I getting that? I kind of feel like you're worried. There's a worry here that your person doesn't want you. Um, but I feel like they do because we have the engagement ring card coming out with a heartbroken card. I kind of feel like your person's not showing you enough how much they want you. And perhaps they, they need to rectify that. Or... I kind of feel like that heartbroken card is more to do with you than them. I kind of feel like you're worried that there's going to be something wrong or you've had this scenario go on before. That's what I'm picking up more. I don't feel like the heartbreak card belongs to your person. No idea why I'm just picking that up intuitively here. get one of these cards here this is called this is from the kipper tarot which is actually a deck in itself but i'm using it as oracles but i'm oracle cards right now but i need to do a reading 
maybe a small reading just with a kip of tarot at some point. We've got the card of toil and labour. This is what I'm feeling. I feel like your person's working on it. It's like they will put in the effort in this connection. I feel like you definitely have put in the effort. But with this card, toil and labour, there's always work to be had. There's always work to do. Your person is trying to put building blocks in place for longe longevity. Okay. I know that. And I do feel your insecurity coming out as well. It's like, oh my God, is something going to go wrong? I kind of feel like somebody in the reading has had broken relationship before. Um, and it's like, is this a repeat of that? Uh, no, it's just the person is being cautious. The number 38 may be relevant there as well. allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so we've got the card of passion i'll put that over there there is passion here i feel it i feel it your person's just slowing coming forward a little bit more with their emotion and um, perhaps they don't express it enough and they need to do that to keep you um reassured yeah okay thank you so much for listening to reading number one today um, if you like that reading, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're already not a subscriber. Um, turn on the notification bell if you do that. Then you'll be notified when I upload. And if you're attracted to more than one pile of cards today, um, give that reading a listen as well. Perhaps there's more messages for you there. Or listen to all three if you feel inclined. Thank you so much for listening. It's been a great pleasure to read for you. And I shall see you all next time. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to your reading, those of you who chose reading number two, which was the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, what will happen within this connection? Okay, let's get shuffling here. Whoa, did you see that shootout? <laughs> Seven of Wands in reverse. Well, that, when they shoot out like that, um, spirit really wants you to know this okay i always find them you know i do intuit intuitively pick cards throughout the deck but when they fly us like that or they fling out and often they land on the floor i find that spirit has thrown that card out for a reason and it's the first card as well seven of wands reversed whoa okay you didn't want to go back in either ace of wands seven of wands reversed often is a card of feeling a bit weak or when plans don't go ahead like they should be but let's have a look the king of swords the ace of wands I feel instinct. The minute I saw the King of Swords in the middle, the Ten of Pentacles come out again. Did you pop over from reading number one? Because the Ten of Pentacles was out in reading number one, the last card out, but it was the right way up. Okay, I can see here that your person is very much in charge of your connection. The way it goes, the way it is, communication. Um, something about your connection feels um, that it's very stop-start yeah seven of wands in reverse i think somebody i'm feeling i think it's you is probably on the verge of giving up or is feeling that it's not worth it anymore that that kind of energy if they're gonna i think at times you quite feel kind of rejected sometimes by this person they're not their communication feels stop start or you're like something about the relationship is stop start stop start stop start the Eight of Wands in reverse is telling me that's frustrating for you, okay? There may be travel problems. So some of you here may be um, further away, um, maybe different towns, uh, different countries. But it, it feels like you're both not on the same page at the minute, okay? 
there's there's definitely delays in communication when the ones are in reverse because the eight of wands if it's the right way up all these ones are coming in at you yeah so it's good communication it flows well but when you're going in reverse like that next to the ten of pentacles that communicate communication thing between you is stop start so sometimes i feel like you message sometimes you don't sometimes you know there's there's a delay in messages or delay in phone calls or however you communicate this kind of feeling making you feel rejected and kind of lonely as well it's like you know what's the point if they're very much in charge of your connection the king of swords is directly in the middle there this person is likes to be in charge of the communication as well and con connection as well you're sort of training along after them quite a bit you know on their waiting for their messages to come in why haven't they messaged that that kind of feeling i'm getting here so i feel with the seven ones in reverse i said it flew out it kind of feels like to me that you're fed up with them, okay? And if things don't change, you know, you're you're about to be done, is what I can feel here. Um, the King of Swords is the leader. So if you sort of, or oh, nearly said step outside of your box, you know, if you act differently, they might get a bit of a shock. That's what I'm feeling here as well. It's like you've been following them and waiting for their messages and they've been doing it at their own pace. And then all of a sudden you might act get fed up and act differently and they might go oh my god because even though the king of swords is a communication guy kind of person um they're also a bit narcissistic so they like to know that they're in charge or they're the boss so if anything changes in that there's like they're going to wonder what's happened you know where are they why are they not messaging me <laughs> it's like they want to be the boss so yeah, this connection at times leaves you feeling lonely and unfulfilled with that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It also can be one of uh, where you may have said something to them and that's caused a conflict of some kind or an argument or some hor horrible messages or not nice messages. But ultimately, I think you feel kind of rejected by this person at times. This is what I can feel. They're definitely in charge of your situation here whoa okay what does that say this is from the island time wellness oracles okay we've got hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so any of those words stick out for you interrogation repetitive i feel like repetitive is the one there I kind of feel like you want to be in the connection and you don't at the same time. That, that, I'm getting that kind of energy. <laughs> We've got the card of the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Okay, that card. And then I'm going to get a card from the Kipper Tower deck here, which is actually a tower deck in itself. I need to do a reading with the Kipper Tower deck, a full reading for you i might do that in a later video okay oh that one wants to fly out doesn't it okay adjudication there you go well this works very much similar to the judgment or the justice card it's like there's gonna be a point a point i said you're kind of fed up it's either you've got to they've got to change with sorry the number 30 i'm looking at the number 30 that it's like you're fed up there needs to be an um a conclusion of some kind for you now it's like they either change and they start they're invested or you're going to get fed up that's what i can see with this card you want to know basically where you stand that's what i'm feeling with the adjudication card there's going to be decisions made a bit like being in court there with the judge and the people it's like, come on, I can just see that you, it's like this judge here is like fed up there, really fed up face with a finger on the desk. So finger on the face. It's like they just want to smack that, you know, slam the hammer down. You know, what's the conclusion? What's the outcome? <laughs> of course, it's entirely up to you. It's your decision. But I kind of feel like you're getting fed up with this person.
we've got to express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay interesting you could do that see what they say i kind of feel like if you did something why am i feeling like if you did something unusual this person they'd freak out not freak out they'd go oh my god that's different i just feel that i said that during the reading it's like if you do something unusual different to the norm this person's going to have a bit of a you know it's going to wreck their mind it's like oh my god because i think you have been chasing this person quite a bit and if you did something slightly different out of the blue what they don't expect that's what that's the feeling i'm getting with this reading they're going to go oh my god it could be pushing that a little bit that's what i'm picking up intuitively by the way let me just have a little sip of my tea here I made a cup of tea before I press record and I've let it go cold. So, yeah, that's what I'm kind of feeling. If you did something out of the blue, I think you'd shock them. Of course, you're free to make up your own mind. This is, Tarot cards are always just for general advice, you know. Um, that's why the two rules in tarot, um, I've forgotten one of them. <laughs> nothing, set, nothing set in stone and free will so everyone's got that right to do what they want and choose okay lovelies thank you for listening to me thank you for listening to me today um yeah if you get like that reading give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber it'd be lovely to have you here in this lovely little space i do upload several times a week um, I do sometimes I do long reading, sometimes it's shorter reading. So yeah, turn on the notification bell if you subscribe, then you'll be notified when I upload. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure to read for you all and take care till next time. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Hello there, welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number three today, which is the vintage Raider Weight. It's actually holographic cards here. I hope they're all right on the camera because they're a bit, they shine quite a bit. You'll see in a minute. Okay, let's get your reading done today. For what is going to happen within this connection? What's happening within this connection? Bear in mind that um, the reading is general and... Um, it may be triggering. I don't know what's going to come out because it's emotions involved. Two rules of tarot, nothing is set in stone and free will. So everyone is allowed to choose, you know, what they do in their lives. Okay, Queen of Wands. That's really weird. Queen of Wands is fighting because I said everyone's allowed to choose what they do in their lives. And the Queen of Wands flipped over right way up. And then we have another one swept over. We have the Five of Pentacles here. Whoa. Ten of Cups in reverse. The High Priestess has also come out in reverse. Next to the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm going to say what I felt then. I just had a little message from Spirit then. I kind of feel like a lot of you have walked away or feel like they've you've walked away because you didn't get enough for this, from this person. I'm looking at the Five of Pentacles next to the Queen of Wands here. The Ten of Cups in Reverse is telling me that, th that you may have broken up with them already. But I'm getting those energies of you still wanting to know what's going on with them um kind of unfinished business the high priestess in reverse is kind of telling me at times you question what you did or you question sorry about that. my neighbor's dogs are going off again he is shouting them in this time miracle <laughs> okay i kind of feel like because the way the queen of wands is looking in this direction yeah she's sort of overseeing it all i keep i'm looking at her on her throne with a sunflower it's like you've walked away or you're thinking of walking away but you're kind of still intrigued about um, what's going on with them, okay? Or why certain things happen. Let's keep going. The Eight of Swords, I knew that. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So you're kind of trapped. A lot of you are thinking about walking away or you've already done that, okay? 
Um, some of you are thinking about it and some of you have already done it. Um, the Queen of Wands is telling me see, she's Queen, Queen of Wands is confident. So you're not scared to do that or you're thinking about doing that 1 million percent. I can see it here. Um, Ten of Cups is like you don't really want to walk away. But those of you who have, you're still very much invested in the connection in some way. I, I can feel that really strongly. It's like, did you do the right thing? Am I doing the right thing if I let this person go? So you're kind of trapped with your decision. That's what I'm seeing here. Do you really want to walk away from them? I don't know. Perhaps some of, some of you have had to for some reason. It's like perhaps they didn't give you enough here. I would like to get one more card because it kind of feels a little like it's not telling me enough. Five of Cups in reverse. I knew that. Of course it is. The Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. I feel like some of you may want this person back. It's like, I feel, I can feel like some, some of you think you may have made a mistake in walking away. I knew it already before I even pulled the Five of Cups in reverse out. Okay. The Five of Cups in reverse is about, um, it can be a card of forgiveness. It can be a card of having that hope that somebody's going to come back. Um, oh, okay. I just got some then. I'm wondering if some are right. Well, why am I getting that? Did you block them and then they went and didn't respond? <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting that some of you blocked them or didn't answer them to punish them and then they went. Why am I picking that up? But I am. I kind of feel like some of you blocked them or didn't speak to them or didn't answer messages on purpose to kind of punish them. But then they really did go. That That's what I'm really picking. That won't be for everyone, but I've picked that up there. Yeah, it's like I think that you're fearing you've made some kind of mistake with this person or you're going to make a mistake if you give up on the connection. Um, you don't really want to give up on it. I can see that here with the five of cups in reverse. It's kind, you want things to get better or you want um, the connection back, the one that you used to have. But there's a card here that you wish this person would come back or you wish that things would get better. This is what I can see in this reading really strongly. Have a look what the oracles say actually. So the eight of swords, again, this is the second time out in this reading as well. It's like it's self-imposed restrictions with the eight of swords. You could have done it yourself. You're in prison there and you're blindfolded on the eight of swords on the radar weight. So you haven't got the information that you need right now. And you kind of trapped yourself. Yeah, if she was in reverse, if the card was in reverse, it'd be like you were having that freedom. But at the minute you've tra you're a bit trapped. It's like you don't know what to do to either get this person back or with because I don't feel your person in the reading and I don't know why at this minute. Um, I feel like they're in the distance. So that's why I said I think you, some of you have walked away or it's a breakup of some kind. This is very specific, this reading. It's like, have you got the confidence and the guts to contact this person? That's what I'm feeling to see if they'll return or are you too scared to do that and I've just dropped half my oracle deck getting carried away again I feel like with the five of pentacles it wasn't walking away or thinking of walking away wasn't without pain because with the five of pentacles energy you can see that this person is injured yeah so it often symbolizes for me as a reader that's put, that it was hard to walk away or make that decision yeah or it wasn't without pain that this happened it was with stress and upset whoops that's come out here okay we've got the card of stabbed in the back i just said pain didn't i heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack so something has occurred here for some of you um perhaps this you feel the person betrayed you with this card or perhaps you know they did Hey, that won't be for everyone, by the way. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? These two cards are so different, and yet they've come out in the same reading. We've got the card of love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. This is why I'm feeling those um, of you sort of energies of, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, that, that kind of thing. I really do. I, I did the minute I saw the cards. It's like 
you 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 hate this person or you they've done something bad or something that's not you're not happy with but you still have love there for them it's like you can't let them go oh we do the romance angels at the end the pink ones we'll get cards from the clipper tarot whoa okay the card of bad health came out which is 31 the number could be relevant this could be a factor but i kind of feel like this person may have made you um stress you out with this card as well you might not be sick as in sick you know i kind of feel like this person has has you know has left you feeling stressed out or down or overthinking as well with this card 31 might be relevant there have the romance angels express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay so that's the oracle there i kind of feel like i want another one i don't know why i only pulled one i pulled one for the other piles but something is telling me to pull another another romance angels card out i don't know why i'm just inclined to here okay got the card of retreat it's time to disconnect from the world bit of mixed messages there um put this there okay it could be how you're feeling right now or your person's retreated um perhaps that's maybe they should be the other way around <laughs> so it's kind of telling you still how i feel like you still have love for this person and you're kind of wondering did you make a mistake why i can't feel your person in this reading i've no idea i kind of feel your energy rather than your person's this time around so it means probably your energy is stronger at the minute for me these things could change, obviously. But yeah, that's the reading I have for those of you today. If this resonated with you, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're already not a subscriber. Turn on the notification bell if you do that, and then you'll be notified when I upload. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been an honour to read for you all. You can give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the box if you want to share your situation or your story there. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Take care till next time. Bye-bye.